Hey, cute people. I know it's me. It's me coming to ask you guys your opinion. Yes. You know what I want to ask you guys? Something I have been thinking about for quite some time. Yes, I have. And I figured I'll come right here to the natural hit community because you guys can help me out quite a bit. As you can see, I am a wearer of gray hair. Mm -hmm. It is really by choice. And I've been thinking lately I wanted to color it, my hair. But I really don't want to color the gray part of my hair. Because I like the way that it um, fits into a style, if that makes sense. Like if I wore my hair um, coiled all over, coiled, then you'll see the streak like right here. And I like that. I like that. And if I wear my hair parted on the side, which I normally would, I wanted to wear a part. I'll have two strands going on the side here, and I like that too. But at the same time, I want to color my hair, but I don't want to cover that part. I know that if it's colored, my hair um, colored, this part may be a little bit lighter. And I was thinking about leaving this part out, coloring my hair, whatever color it is that I want, but then I would have to color this a little bit lighter. But it still won't be gray. But then again, it will be part of what I like about the way my gray hair is in my head. That makes sense? Some way or another, this video will all make sense. Just watch it to the end. But really, my question is to young women, natural, perm, it doesn't matter. Have you thought about gray hair and how you would like to wear it for yourself when you're older? I know when I was younger, and mother started to gray, I said, oh no, if I, well not if, but when I gray, I'm gonna color my hair. I don't want any gray hair in my hair. But I come to really like it. So I'm thinking, what should I do? I know, right, such a big dilemma. And maybe I'm making a big thing out of nothing. But I realize I want to permanently dye it. So once I do that, that's it. I have to wait for it to grow out. So of course I want to be happy with whatever I do. semi permanence depending on what color you use, it's not going to show up, right? Mm. And I don't want my hair like a burgundy or a wine color. I want my hair in a color that I'll call like a sunshine or a sunflower color because it's more dirty. I don't know if you would call that blonde. I don't know. If I come across a picture with it, I'll insert it somewhere like right over here. Because I saw a young lady with her hair that color, and I thought it was so pretty. So pretty for a young woman, but just as pretty for a woman like me, over 50. But at the same time, I like my greater show. Now, in my hair, you wouldn't see. I have strands all over, you know, gray strands. But this is where the bulk of my gray is. And like I said, I like how it falls when um, I style my hair. And even this way. My style today is not really even. I could have made it where, you know, everything just was symmetrical, but I didn't. But I don't know. So I was just wondering, like I said, when I was young, no way in the world would I have ever, ever thought I would want to keep my gray hair, but I do. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I know that I have seen a lot of women. The look, you know, the look that I like. When I see a woman who I know is not old, her face is her face is nice and youthful, and um, she could be in her fifties, she could be in her sixties. Her hair is white, or pretty white, or you know, salt and pepper, but more white than pepper, and it just looks so pretty. Case in point, if you watch the own channel the last couple of days on the commercial for the Super Soul Sunday, she's gonna have Ali McGraw on the show. And you know, when she's talking to Allie, I'm looking like, that is so beautiful because Allie doesn't look like an old woman in the face. And then her hair being gray, it just looks so pretty. It just looks really nice. And I'm not being um, ageist, like um, saying, if you look old with gray hair, you don't look just as beautiful because we know that's not true. But it's just that look that I like when a woman looks so beautiful and then her hair is gray. It's just so pretty. But then gray hair is just pretty all the way around which I really do like. I may feel a little bit different if I had more gray in my hair, but I think because it's placed the way that it is, it looks like it's part of the style that I'm wearing. You know it's gray. 
but I just like it and I don't know if I want to get rid of it. Mm, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I don't want my hair red or I'll even take a brown, but not really an auburn color in it. I don't want that either. I remember years ago when I was young and black women would um, dye their hair. Everybody had an auburn color because that's all they made for black women or that's all they made anyway. But everybody colored their hair and it was always auburn. You remember those days. Now you have so many different colors to choose from. I'm not sure what I want to um, go with. But like I said, it's not really to cover the gray because that's not my intention. It's just to give myself something different. I may not even color it. I'll probably just leave it like this because I'm curious to see what my hair is going to look like when I get older um, as far as the gray and what I'm going to look like because I see some signs of being old on my face already. Like, I guess if you were, um, I don't know if white people, Spanish people, Asians get it, but you don't get those moles or skin tags and stuff like that. I'm getting quite a few of them and I'm a little bit upset because I don't want those things on my face. Oh my goodness. They run in my family. So I got some on my neck. I got one back here. <sighs> but either way, um, if I get one or two, a few, that's fine. I just don't want one here, one here, here, over here. Uh, but it's whatever. Whatever he has for me, I'll take it. But I was just curious to know what people thought about their gray hair. And like I said, if you're not gray yet, what do you plan on doing to your hair? Hmm. Because you never would have been able to tell me that right now I would have been embracing the gray on my head. But I really, really am. So I just wanted to know what you guys thought. To be honest, I probably won't color my hair, but I am thinking about it. So I don't know. And like I said, if you're in my age group, you color your hair, let me know. In my age group and you don't color your hair, tell me why you don't. If you're thinking about it like me, tell me why. And then if you're younger than me, tell me what you plan on doing when your hair turns gray. If you like it and you think you're going to keep it. You know, my mother's hair is like um, a mousy brownish gray. Um, I was trying to tell her to use certain products so she can lighten it up. She doesn't like the mousy gray um, ish in her hair either. But with my hair, it was coming to be that way, just a little bit brown. And it may be the products that I was using because I noticed that I had um, used a protein treatment. And my hair was really like a very pretty silver, which it may show now because it hasn't been back to that um, brownish color in quite some time because I used that um, protein treatment quite often. And I like this whiteness. It's not the whitest of whites, but it's not that mousy brown. So I don't know. Gray hair seems to be quite a big thing. But like I said, I don't want to color my hair just because it's gray. I want to color it to give it some pizzazz, some some vibrancy to match me and how I'm feeling, you know, as a mature woman, not a tired old lady ready to sit in the corner, but somebody ready to enjoy life and have fun. But at the same time, I don't want to color my gray hair right here. I want it to be gray, but then the color I want it won't look right. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm making a big thing out of nothing. That's why I figured I'd come right here to YouTube and just purge. <laughs> So I purged enough, but just let me know what you guys are thinking. And I'm going to end this video now because it was just a little something I wanted to get off my chest and see how you guys may feel about gray hair, natural, mature woman. And um, I have to say that I'm proud of all of it. My gray hair, being natural, and definitely being a woman, all that. So I'm going to end this video now. You know, I thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next. And share and spread love.